What's up, guys? This is the Brofund, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, well, in the past episode, we've done some various bits and pieces, and right now my empire is kind of treading water, so we need to kind of more decisively break out. So we're going to go push and attack Bogota from New Spain using our military advantage of having fire by rank. And apart from that, we're going to slowly reconstitute our forces in mainland Spain, rebuild our rebuild our navy, replenish this army and rebuild the government building in Cagliari to bring this army back, because they are in a great position to push against the likes of Paris or Britain. Paris is probably the most important one to do first. It creates some issues down the line, but Paris is very valuable and it makes the springboard into um, Britain more achievable. And it also means that being Catholic, they shouldn't hate us quite as much. But yes, we're doing okay. Building up our navy <laughs> as much as we possibly can. And then we're going to be ready to utilize it later on. But let's hit end turn. I'm hoping I can push into Bogota pretty quick because Bogota, as in, in general, is a fairly wealthy nation. Its main factory, these three mines, two, I believe it's two gold mines. Actually, no, I'm not going to give you. I don't want Lombardy for Trinidad. Lombardy might be worth more, but it's also trapped. But I don't like where that army's going. Ooh. Okay, you can attack the uh, Dutch, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, not bothered about Lombardy. Naples is useful. It would be useful to take Naples, but it would open up a front line against the Italian states, and I don't really want that yet. Uh, anyway, I digressed. Uh, Bogota, I believe it's two gold mines and one silver mine, so even though they might not necessarily all be high or abundant yields, they will still bring in, bring in a pretty penny. Ooh. And I want to keep building up my navy do to dominate world trade, because right now I don't have the trade. I could st potentially... Oh no, Purchase already did it. Purchase stole this spot. I mean, I don't have the commodities on the market yet to not care about the trade zones, the trade theatres. So I want to keep building up that. That would be very beneficial. 551. Great. Now we've got an agent here. He's going to go to Evora. We've actually both ticked over new technologies too. Improved animal husbandry and we've got basic steam pump, which is great because we're on the road to Bogota. Um, so don't go for Coke Blast Furnace because that's an eight. It's a good tech. But it's eight turns, whereas Spinning Mule is faster. Salamanca, we're not so bothered about upgrading all our farms yet. Go for government by consent to gain the boost tech research rate. We're not so bothered about utilitarianism and the cost of cultural buildings. We're more concerned about getting our tech research, making sure our tech research rate is, is up and high. So it's 551. I think. Can we rebuild? Can't rebuild the government build the governor's building, so instead. Considering this is gonna be the army I'm gonna spend most of my time with I don't know, I would imagine fighting over Bogota and Panama. They get first dibs, and then we're also gonna take I, I can repair one of these ships. Actually, potentially two. Let's see how many we can get for our money. Bring in another fifth rate, the San Juan. Good, that's quite a nice little force we got building up there. Um, but it's unfortunate because we kind of have to wait for the Ottomans to sort out what they're doing. Here's the British Empire. They've knocked out a a uh, stack of troops, a stack of ships from the Barbary States, the Barbary Pirates. We're not so bothered about their fleet if they're not doing anything. Uh, well, I suppose it depends on what condition their navy's in. If it's in a bad condition, we could probably do with sailing over and taking it. But the thing to remember, I need to have a, no a good number of powerful ships ready to respond to any threats against my port. That's their main job. It's not to go fighting 
fleet. It's to go out and pick up, you know, the odd prize. But chiefly to... Uh, chiefly to defend Lisbon. Sorry, my mind kind of trailed off a minute there. Right, 1,200 gem mines, which is great. But 1,200, I think, is probably going to be enough to repair Cagliari. It is. And what about replenish you guys? Not quite, but pretty good. Good. And our navy here. Can't spend, can't replenish anything, anything with 56 gold. Neither can you. Nope. Just keep pushing. We've got fire by rank, so my, my line infantry are going to really be so disproportionately useful. Three turns each. There's no free trade slots. To be honest, we did get division of labour, so that means I should... Well, I haven't got the money to do it yet, but I should look at expanding my port infrastructure. Oh, accidentally nearly, nearly... Just a second, everyone. And there we are. Okay. So, my sloop... Well, what? I mean, their navy's in pretty poor shape, but I'm content to just leave them alone. I've got limited funds, and I've got a war on, in South America to focus on first, as well as reconstituting my navy, so I'm not overly bothered about grabbing up British fleets. Now that, on the other hand, is something I'll have to deploy the fleet for. So that's one turn of no money. Perfect. But by the looks of it, they're very weak ships. Well, not weak ships, but you know, there's only one of them, and unless they've gone for all rates or better, we are probably going to be okay. I do also want to keep researching the naval tech tree because we are depending quite a lot on my naval forces. It's moments like this where as good as, as, as lucky as we are to not have to worry about fighting the Barbary states, their little penny packets of fleets would be very useful. <laughs> to capture and then sell. Yeah, zero money. Gentleman in Spain. Just research for now. So we get no money. But it's a fifth ray plus a fifth ray. Very well. Let's take two fourths and two fifths. If we attack Mr. Whittingham, it should call in Mr. Collingwood as well. Yes, it has. Let's do this. We're probably going to sell those ships because we don't necessarily need our fleet to be bigger, but we do want some extra cash. Fortunately, our admiral's on a fifth rate, so they can be to the rear. Not quite sure where the the other fifth rate is, but they, I'm sure they will enter the field. I can't even see a pointer on the map. Oh, they're behind us. Okay, so they're going to be coming in full steam ahead from directly behind us somehow. So we're going to mop up this fifth rate. Then get ready to receive Mr. Collingwood at his fifth rate from behind. can't help my obsession with canister shot. To be honest, you guys might actually just get ready to receive that ship. My force can continue to sail ahead. Try and knock out one of her masts. Ow. 
That didn't work, but now you're going to make, you're going to reload your battery. I'll turn my volume down on my microphone. There we go. Pirates of the Caribbean, this mother. doing damage to our stern but we need to maneuver we can either give up the position or we can keep pivoting to try and match their movement because we will be sailing into the wind let's fire that one lone gun there Firing to the stern of San Juan at max range, that's good. San Juan's going to soak up some cannon shots from a sump cow. Because they've decided to sail with us, we get a nice shot for a broadside. Bring her into the fleet. Sail with her at max speed. So speed up time. Try knock out one of her sails. One of her masts. There we go. The rear mast is down. You're gonna. You're firing round shot because you're having to trade shot after shot after shot. You're firing chain and you've got your chaser guns. So you should be able to keep doing damage to her. Surrendered. Good. So my whole fleet. Recombine. Because we've got sick series. Series carries. Sail straight on. We've already captured one Royal Navy vessel. We will gladly try to take another. But we've got to try and close the distance. Yeah, you don't need to do anything to Wabash. Your hours, including all your Royal Marines. Let's get ready to try to sail at an angle. You're going to be firing a chain because he is going to steamboat right into you at full sail. You're going to keep going into the wind. Fire as she bears. Stay ahead of her, see if you can cause her to stop. You're also going to fire chain. Drop anchor! You're going to have to now manoeuvre around us, matey boy. Let's assume she'll go that way. Pivot. Pull the other direction to get the advantage of the weather gauge. You're not going to fire in time, so you also pivot. Yeah, 
guess you might enjoy temporary success now. Buy your broadside at range. Four more shots into the masts. Four masters gone. I mean, the damage on these things when they get hit is beautiful. Let's fire at she -bird. More shots into her masts. Main mast is gone. You're not long for this world. We are going to continue because you are not surrendered. Well, let's speed up time. Because you are not going to be a problem. There we go. Knock took out our last mast. That's two fifth rates. We are not... Oh, wait. Ah, oh, did one sink? Wait, one remaining? Well, we're going to cash these chips in. Unfortunate. So, because I'm sure one was surrendered and the other one... On, oh, all right. Sail back to Sandy Bay. Spend the cash on the Navy. As much as we can, anyway. Next turn we're up for 1,795. That's a good amount of cash. You're on your way to an undefended Bogota. Excellent. There's probably going to be some Spanish troops in the province somewhere that we'll have to deal with, but we will deal with them when we need to. Good old bit of coffee. I'm not a coffee snob. This is just regular old instant coffee <laughs> with with water and hot water and milk. Right. I want to try and get that army back from Sardinia. Yeah, there we go. They're aware. New Spain are aware that we are on the way. Mughal Empire. Now we're a declining empire. The Italian states are trading with us, so that's okay. Barbary states are going to Barbary. You're going to see lots of individual ships get gobbled up, no doubt. They can sail past us because we're at peace. So let's see. Although I'm not quite sure what the, how the mechanic works. Like if you're... Say if I'm at war with Britain. Well, no. Wrong. Bad analogy. Let's say I'm trading with Britain. They're at war with Britain, but not with me. If they trade, if they blockade the trade, do they only blockade stuff that Britain's sending to me? And not stuff I'm sending to them? So I'm still making money, but they're not? You know, how does it work exactly? Okay, so a little less than what we were thinking because of the blockade. We've got one unit that needs to be retrained. So the sloop is going to come here and pick up this army, hopefully. Yep. Get them into Cartagena. Back up to Madrid. There we go. So you've got space for six more units. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. Push up towards Paris, because Paris is currently undefended. And how many turns is that? One, two, three, four turns. That's fine. 999 gold left, and that will allow us to facilitate an attack on Bogota. Hey, and there's also a larger army to the rear, but that's okay. We're going to attack the city, we're going to see the enemy reinforcements, and we're going to mow them down. This is our first land engagement using fire by rank, which is pretty awesome. We'll cut them down, 
and there will not be much they can do about it. And I've got my cavalry unit which can flank around and intercept and destroy enemy artillery batteries. My one demi battery, demi artillery battery. So my that's the core of my army, my line infantry. My militia, or you, stay in that building. My militia will advance against this threat because we're aware that it's where the reinforcements are coming in from. <laughs> About face. Light cavalry push to attack those mortars. Who's that? One line infantry. Four militia versus one line infantry is a bit of a bad ratio, but we're going to push. Hey, don't attack the house. You men, get out of there. That's the general's bodyguard, and this is why you got. Not why you have pikemen, but pikemen are good. Sending all this infantry, all this militia against one infantry unit is overkill, but I can handle that. Enemy general is dead, and now the enemy army is entering the field piecemeal. With my superior firepower, let's bottle them in. with my pikes ready. Bring my cavalry back. He might, might have to stay here. Mount Tribal Auxiliary may want to get up to mischief. square they're wavering they may route nope they're okay they're gonna form square they charge the pikemen so i can get my pikemen in on the flank you're waiting for one man to reload Hold your squares. This militia unit needs to come up and get some support. Or give some support. Because holy Jesus. You men advance. Cavalry needs to get over here. Let's get one bowman in. These two units need to engage. So where is my cavalry? It's coming back. You men also need to run. Pikemen, Colonial Pikemen, Bowman Auxiliary are ra wavering. I need to try to get my cavalry in from here. Get you men over. So you're engaging the reinforcements. You men should knock out the Colonial Line Infantry. them and then slaughter them. You men hold. So you men pull back. I 
You men pull back so I can use my militia or my general, not my general, my cavalry rather. You have at them. Pikemen, go get the musket auxiliary here. These units move up to redeploy. Advance the colonial militia, advance my cavalry to go take out this native musketman auxiliary. You're still plinking. It's that one regiment of foot. Yeah, I don't think we'll need them. You men both bayonet and charge the musket auxiliary. Because they are auxiliary men. They are not particularly fantastic in melee because they are auxiliary. You can get get up here, you. There's one last unit that is currently withstanding us. But I think largely that's gonna be it. Lost a lot more men than I would have liked. But we can manage that. Go and kill their last gunner. You can go after the native. Last native foot auxiliary unit. Yep. Take them out. And you men all swarm. 4th Regiment of Foot. How about you? Nah, let's end it there. Most of them have already left the field anyway. Still, we lost a lot more men than I would have liked, that's for sure. But you're going to flee, you're going to flee. Bogota is ours and we can spend the last of this cash. I don't mind shrinking my militia component. So I can focus my money on to my line infantry. We can't repair the governor's residence. We need 270 for that. But yes, we've got a meagre gold mine to the south. We've got a meagre gold mine to the north. And a high yield silver mine to the north as well. Plus a few extra towns and stuff that get developed which will be pretty awesome but for now reinforce this army probably gonna need to recruit a cavalry to chase away these ships out of port but yes we're gonna be up for 2700 next turn that's that's enough money to do stuff we can do things with that i think the french are aware that something's up Spanish may see the lack of a garrison at Sardinia as their time to re-attack us, but I think if we take Paris and we secure Paris, then they're gonna be They're gonna be out of luck. They're gonna be really out of luck. Yeah, the Mughals are done for. Keep trading with them with them for as long as I can, but I'm not gonna actually get out of go out of my way uh, to help them or give them much support. B to make sure New Andalusia is bolstered because I can actually recruit artillery and infantry and cavalry and the whole the whole gamut from New Andalusia. I need to get new roads built because travelling Cross country in South America is a bit tricky. So, they haven't moved, which is interesting. So, let's repair this. Let's replenish all of you. Nearly sucked up all of my money trying to do that. Tech advances. So, we got. Got spinning mule. You're getting flying shuttle. Salamanca. Actually, Evora, you might go for. Naval shore facilities. I 
and maybe go for sextant for a quicker more useful technology we're not we, we don't necessarily have the funds to expand up the tech tree that quickly but we soon gobble that up two thousand or three thousand even this turn okay it's another turn of you another turn of you advancing to paris because paris is not fortified I mean, there are troops nearby, but they're not. The city itself doesn't have fortifications, so we could take it in one turn. There comes a British fleet. See, they're currently at war with the United Provinces against. I think they're at war with the New Spaniards, so they've already got a lot, a lot of things to think about. Whereas we are a bit more free to pursue other interests, including. Uh, expansion in the Americas. Because that's the place to expand. It's the place with the fewest... where you get lots of trade goods from expanding in America. And you don't have quite so much resistance to your activities as you do in Europe and India. But nevertheless, we shall... When I've got New Andalusia, I feel a lot happier. And I've got Bogota, I feel even happier. If I can push up and take Panama, then, then we're on a roll. Then it's pushing up towards Nicaragua, New Mexico, and then we've suddenly got quite a significant tax-based economy being funded out of silver and gold being shipped over from Central and South America, which is, which is quite thematic. Except it's us doing it rather than Spain, but we have displaced the Spanish. 3,300, we've got a new... Election, none of our guys are three star or worse, so I'm generally okay with that. 3,200. Again, they've not moved again. So let's pick up two units of cavalry. Just to bolster our mobile forces. We've got 800. I must have somewhere with... I think I do here. Trinidad has bad roads. There we go. Yeah, right now, because we've not got much money, we've got a lot of things to do. We're cranking through the turns pretty, pretty quick. But what do you expect? Okay, cool. Can't even upgrade any farms. One more turn till we get Sexton, which will be useful. Got eyes on Paris. Oh, they're attacking into Italy. Interesting. So if we take Paris, you've got... To, well, that army is going to come back into France, but it may go south into Madrid. So when we take Paris, we'll need to build a reasonable garrison to keep hold of it. Because our army is going to need to push out of the city. Unless if we take Paris, we can get a temporary peace with France. Because ultimately we're not going to get peace any other way. But that's a good army pushing up onto the French capital. They're going to be a bit stuck. I don't like that Morocco's marching down the coast because they could be embarking on a fleet on a ship elsewhere. We do eventually want to push over and take Morocco. Because Morocco and then pushing into... well. The tricky thing is, now with the Barbary States, is that if I declare on the Barbary States, I will be at war with the Ottomans, and I don't want that. But if I take if I take Morocco, they may attack us. And maybe the Ottomans might not join them? It's tricky. It's tricky. I sort of forego... I forgave the right to expand into, America, into Africa for having less uh, aggressive movements around my ports 3200 so if i build a commercial port that will suck up all my money but it will add additional trade slots we can raid a handful or one more ship i 
this army is pretty much back up together. If you guys can push out, yeah, which you can. Let's go and attack the gold mine. And bring death to this last holdout of new Spanish troops. Then we'll send one of our cavalry units north to secure the port. Some units south to destroy that to destroy the last new Spanish army. And then the bulk of our force can go northwest against Panama. Okay, so you guys can stay back here. Four of my army is going to push up. Two units of militia on either flank. My guns are going to stay behind. I've got some irregular cavalry that will be of great use. And some pikes to follow up the front. I, didn't, I, haven't had, I haven't had a look at my colonial line. They look pretty good. Nice colours. Okay. Let's make progress up the ground rapidly. We don't want to waste our time sitting back, not doing anything. They're going to be all in these trees, so we need to be ready for them all to suddenly pop up. I guess that's what I was kind of hoping would happen. Oh, hello, pikemen. They get lashed with our little volleys. Oh, you're going to kill some of my own militia, but I'm going to let it happen. You guys cease fire. <laughs> Keep firing, though, just to try and break them. Or shatter them, rather. Ah, your positioning's not very good. There's some enemy native units. on the right flank. Form my militia. Charge them with my cavalry. Get ready to push up through the woods. There they are. Drag my demi cannons up onto this high ground, but they're not going to get involved. So if that's where they where they're all hiding, we can advance, secure the woods. Oh, these native warriors are being engaged from our militia. Lots of our men are firing high. Yeah, you should attack those pikemen, because we don't want them coming back. We don't want them escaping. These native warriors that have put on Spanish coats. For what? For the ambition of a crazy Spanish king. You should do it for a crazy Portuguese king. If you had any sense. Well, you will have sense now, because the Portuguese are coming. push my militia around like so. Box them in the way we like to box them in. It's not a lot, not a lot for you guys to go anywhere, really. Ooh. My men are all making ready. Ok, 
Okay, all of you guys fire at Willow. Because now it's hunting time. If you can knock out that unit, that would be perfect. these guys they are being slaughtered for fighting for the wrong side remember that remember <laughs> decisive victory nicely done yep yeah, it should be that army is destroyed my auxiliaries right north to the port to secure it you men march south to attack the remnants. You men advance to Panama. We need to get these. We need to get these mines built as well. One thousand three hundred and fifty-ish a piece. Got one there. One thousand one hundred twenty-five. I suppose mines, silver mines, aren't necessarily as valuable, but I do love mining. Okay, naval shore facilities. Don't necessarily want seasoning for the increase in recruitment cost. Well, I can handle that. For now, it, it's going to reduce my upkeep of the existing troops I've got. So let's hit enter. Oh, we're heading straight for Paris. Well, the French have taken Turin. I wonder if we take if we take Paris, can we get peace with France for a few turns just to let us consolidate our control over their territory and then suddenly they'll go hey we don't actually want to be <laughs> mate we don't want peace of these guys because they own they own our capital maybe we should go take it back <laughs> they just ran straight past um calcutta to go for the port you're like why the port's right the, the city's right there just take it and the port is yours unless the garrison in the city that it would generate was too big. That's always possible. So I want to spend my money on mines in Bogota. No oh, mine. Okay, zero? Why zero? Oh, is someone... The Mughal Empire, we can't trade with them. Ugh, yeesh, okay. Wonder hmm, that's odd, because we everything was going okay. In which case then... Are we best served using our battle fleet as naught but common pirates? Yes, because it keeps us just above the waterline. So you men go take Cartagena, you men. Just auto resolve that fight. Push towards Panama, and you men push to catch up. So the port's taken, we didn't get to build our mines. So if I was a northern Italian faction, I'd just know as allied with France, don't want to do anything, sell anything to them. Take plug bayonet for a cool ground. I want to give them fire by rank, even though that's a technology they'll they would definitely want. The Ottomans have got more tech than well, government by consent. They might buy that. Two grand. Good. So with that two grand. So you get plus one seven fifty, 
you get me 1200 okay so the silver mine's worth upgrading first and some more tribal auxiliary to bolster this force marching on to panama we can recruit a sloop to occupy the port to free up this cavalry to come join our army good may have to crank out my policies just a little bit just while the Mughals work out. Oh, that's the reason. It's because that's where they're trading from. We'll sort it out, Mughal Empire. Realistically, I should probably just stop trading with them and trade with the <laughs> the Marathas instead, but that ain't going to happen. Ooh! I want to say... Well, the answer is definitely... Yes, take it now. <laughs> I was like, oh, do I do I not do it? Should I do it? Anyway, if I don't do it, all it will do is give the French forces another turn to respond to what I've just done. So if I don't attack now, I'm being a bit silly, especially when my over my firepower advantage is literally overwhelming. they are an enemy that is utilizing massed peasantry so these men are going to work their way through the town my regulars are going to be on the left skirting around the plank cavalry is going to be on the left as well because he doesn't like working through towns but we will put pikes on the left and my 12 pounders Deploy back here and we can just open up everyone else though. Advance with all speed. We do not want to engage in a in a blinking battle at range. We want to engage them as close as possible. So much so my gunners just open up against whatever they can do not worry about their mortars although they're going for my pikemen as is tradition yeah we're gonna oh my general too bring him up yeah close the distance fire by rank that was break their infantry force very quickly. There we go. We should get the sound. Wait a minute. Like, how can they use their muskets like that? With great skill. Mine's fine. They'll hold. They'll be able to hold them. They'll be able to keep themselves safe. Pikemen go for the militia on the flank. Pull my cavalry back. There you go. And then all my skirmishes and so on. Reload and knock out the next unit. My pikemen probably didn't like being shot in the back. Keep on pivoting the line. Pikey is probably going to come back. I'm 
militia do not like what's going to happen, what's happening. No. Keep on pushing. The enemy troops have just decided that it is not for them. They are just running for it, running for the hills. But yeah, just keep, keep harassing troops that are shattered. There you go, my pikemen should be okay now. Which means you guys probably want to go like this. Full frontal charge! Nicely done. Their, their, cav their infantry have suddenly realised, wait a minute, there's cavalry back here. Shattered, 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 just broken. Are you not terrified that your entire army has fled? You wait till we reload it. Shoot him! Oh, I stabbed him in the gizzard. Oh! He did not like that. Second rank. Have a go. Fuck you, devils. doing so much to try and save themselves. It's just not relevant. This is what I mean about fire by rank is the best. Because it just is. When you've got it and they don't, they can't win. They just can't. There's nothing they can do. You can just put out so much more firepower than they can. They can't match it. Look at that. We took the city for losing 400 men. Yeah, so they've suddenly gone, wait a minute. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. But we've got fire by rank, as if we care. Keep Come at us. We're probably going to have to exempt uh, Paris from tax. But it's worth doing because we have single-handedly just broken the French strength the same way taking Madrid just absolutely knackers Spain. We've just achieved that with capturing, capturing Paris and doing it to France. Does it make our job easier? No, but it doesn't. It's certainly, <laughs> certainly not unhappy. And meanwhile, oh, the Mughals are counter-attacking. Yes! I mean, eventually I'm going to have to invade India and take it back. But I like, I like seeing the Mughals... Well, I like seeing either Indian faction pull off a comeback. That's what I like. I like seeing, you know, oh, they, you know, one faction's got the advantage over the other. Oh, that means they're going to win because it's just going to steamroll. And then the answer is, no, no, that's, that's not how it happened. They're going to keep... Oh, we... Back to zero again. Okay, no. Okay, good. 6,000. Do you hate us though, France? Yes, kind of, is the answer to that. So we're going to exempt you from tax, which means we're going to lose a good amount of that nice income. You're going to run around and raid, which is your prerogative. But what I'm going to do is say, ooh, I can trade with... Okay, let's try trade with Sweden. Although, hmm. Hey, Britain, let's chill. Okay, fine. Let's just try trade with the Marathas. No, trade with Prussia. No, I'm, I never like giving up territory for trade. Fine. What about a smaller nation? What about Crimea? 
Oh, Louisiana. Yeah, we just took the, we just took the, took their uh, colonial powers, some main city, and they've gone, yeah, yeah, fam, we're chill. Peace and trade, France. No, nope, fair enough. Even though we can trade, I don't think we're going to be able to really pull it off. What if, unless I give you plug bayonet and sextant, that's nothing. Cool. What if I try the same with Crimean Carnet? Trade. Have two agricultural attacks. A satisfactory end. What about. So I'd like to trade with Poland, but. Trade and I offer you plug pain and sexton just the same text. Very early text. Nah, they're not interested. Ooh, you want you I'll try and offer you ring bayonet. Nah, they really don't like us. I don't want to do this. <laughs> what if I offer you bayonets? <laughs> oh, they really don't like us. But seven and a half grand. That's wicked. So let's get you. You catch up to them. Push. You men try to keep up. Tribal auxiliary try to keep up. So the thing we well, I suppose what would really help is if I just destroy the college. And I'm not going to build anything here because I want that college. But it will help us get rid of... Well, actually, can we... If we get rid of the college, we can actually tax you. So let's hit in turn. I don't care if you raid my villages and stuff. I just want to keep hold of the town itself. And I think with all my infantry... I will be able to quite conclusively do that. I may eventually need to recruit a... Well, I will need a proper garrison. Because some of these forces, the problem is, is they're, they're quite strong. And they'll attack the city. But when you push them back, they will just go out and carry on raiding again. So you will need to leave the city to continue your attack. And that's not a problem unless your territory is really quite vulnerable. Which it is, really. We've got there are three French settlements bordering us. So we want to be just a little bit careful of of what we're doing. But eight and a half grand. Hoo wee! And France can okay, we might temporarily blip, get rid of their tax just to reset the counter on them being upset but we can then rebuild this, rebuild the royal palace, to be honest if I just spend a turn rebuilding Paris that's a pretty good return on investment and then replenish my army as much as I can because you are probably going to come after me which is fine, same with you not afraid of either of you. Oh, I didn't pay attention. We accidentally researched carbines. It's a waste. Measuring tools. Flat bonuses, plus they give us metal roads. Not that we can really build metal roads, but that flat bonus is pretty good. Okay, yeah, they've gathered their strength. Or are gathering their strength, so we will do the same. Replenish what you can. Get ready to push. Okay, good. I built the mine. And we built the new port, which we can't use because we're trading with everyone we can trade with effectively. Because the Marathas don't like us. I could really do with my king dying. Because <laughs> he's just really annoying people. Yeah, France is not going to 
let us get away with taking their territory, but at the same time they appear aware of the fact they can't actually contest it. But we just tickled with the... Ooh, so Savoy rebelled, so France has lost Turin, which is great. That means we don't have to worry about French coming in from the south. But before I made Paris exempt from tax, we were just tickling the realm of potentially earning 10,000 in cash a turn, which is brilliant. Uh, we're not, not going to do that now because they're raiding our port. But, but we are doing well in Central and South America. We're going to take Panama. And we're going to push. So the, yeah, where's the, I'm st actually, I remember my fleet is still pirating. 8,000. That's still pretty darn good. So now, replenish the last handful of troops. See, they, they, they like us because we don't have any religious problems and I can now tax you. Earning an extra 2,600 a goal a turn, which gets us 12,900. Now we're cooking. So I'm not. I'm going to hold Paris for now. I'm going to spend that money on. Probably. Upgrading one port is a good investment. Average yield iron mine is a good investment, but if we've got. Because you've got basic steam pump, if you want to upgrade mines, then it's Mr. Gold Mine here. Mega Yield Open Gem Pit. Plus 300 effectively. Plus 350. Kind of much of a muchness. Plus 200. Well, I think some of these gains are all going to remain. Fairly marginal. Roads would be good, but I think we've got to go for some mines first. And actually, I might upgrade the Miguel farm, although Rio de la Hacha is not there. That's. Okay, I might upgrade the farm in Bogota to boost the growth of our rural areas. And you men can. Continue to replenish and then put Panama under siege. We may not necessarily attack it, but we will siege it. Because some of our troops are a bit... They're a bit poor. Might even want to sacrifice... One regiment of line. Oh no, sorry, these are... Ah, colonials. Two lines and a bunch of colonial. Okay. 12,900 though, theoretically, next turn. That's really good. Okay. I suspect it will not be long until we are raided in Paris. Do I want to intercept them? Absolutely I do. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time as we fight to hold on to our new territory Paris. Cheers everyone.